Welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your origin for your toolpath. Let's get started. Here you can see the origin of my part was created at what appears to be the top center. However, if we look straight at this, it was the top center, but it was the top center of the stock. And maybe we want it to be on the top finish face of our part. And just for fun, maybe we want that to be in this corner here. So how do you change the origin? It's pretty simple. Just select it, right mouse button click, and down here you see where it says creation of default origin? You can choose edit. Now, the software brings us back in time, back to the beginning when this origin was created, and you can see both the stock and the finished part. Here, when it's set to automatic positioning, it means it's going to use the position set within your tools options. First thing we're going to do is turn that off, and then here I'm going to go and create a new frame. In this case, I'm going to choose a frame by point and two directions. My origin point, I could just choose to be that point right there if I wanted to. I could also choose a specific snap point, for example, middle point between two points. Why not? Or at an offset point, or what have you. In this case, we'll keep it simple, and I'm just going to choose that point right there. Next, we need to make sure that the x-axis of the frame that we're creating is parallel with the absolute x of the document, and the same with either y or z. We just need to line up two of them, and the third will come along for the ride. So here we have the y direction is set to absolute y. We're perfect, so we'll validate. Now we're back here, and you can even set this to the work offset that you would like to use. And the lastly, we'll validate one more time. And the last thing Top Solid Cam will want you to do is regenerate all of your toolpath if you already have toolpath created on this document, which you can see by this icon here. So we can go and hit this icon up here, or F5 on your keyboard for a shortcut. Like that, Top Solid is going to regenerate everything to make sure that all the Z values, X and Y values are all updated to the new zeros location. We're almost done with updating the toolpath. And like that, we're done. I hope you found this video helpful. Check back soon for more tips and tricks.